welcome to the channel, Farm with Nick. Thank you so much for coming on this uh, farm tour today. We are on Stone Valley 22, and this was a build suggested by a subscriber of the channel, um, Dustin Johnson. Shout out to you. And I'm actually just going to give you a tour of the build right now. Um, I actually just built most of this off camera, and simply because of the time and all the little things I added here and there um, in the end it was just easier to give you a quick walk around of everything I actually did instead of going and um, trying to build everything in in my half hour time with some edits so I just decided I'm just gonna do a tour for this just something a little bit different um, but I hope you uh, enjoy it still and maybe take away some some tips or you know have some suggestions for me and what I could do better but um, I'm, I'm really pleased with how this turned out so if you ever played on Stone Valley first want to show you where we are at in the map so the starting farm is kind of right in the center here at uh, field by, by field two and i have played on the starting farm here uh, for stone valley and i really like that starting farm i've kind of messed around with it before and changed a couple things but it's really a nice you know nice area and i've seen a lot of farm builds on there and um, builds that have redone that and then over off to the the right here, you have your uh, cow farm for the map, uh, 29. So I thought about putting one there and kind of putting a house there off of that main drag. And it's really not a bad location. I do like that one. However, in the end, I settled and went way down here and went across from the store. So the store is right here at the bottom of the map. And I built this farm right across the road all right so i'm in field 24. Um, what i did was i painted the field i put uh the grass paint down and then i planted the grass in there and it's hard to see because i have the little icon here um, but there are a little clump of trees right here coming off of the road so i kind of used that as some of my guide that's how far back i wanted to go with the farm um, when I was kind of playing around with it before, I was putting buildings back here, but then I decided, well, no, I don't want it so sprawled out. And some of my farm builds, it's very spaced out, but this one I want it a little more condensed, and you'll kind of see why as I go around. So we are right across from the shop right here. So we own field 24 now. The rest of it I left. I didn't um, touch it at all, but just right there. All right, across this little this little square. So I wanted to make something a little more realistic that I could see myself like owning and you know not too sprawled out. Um, so I'll kind of just drive around here first. You can kind of see um, we kind of made a dairy farm. However, we also have other animals here on this farm as well. So we would be doing field work, crops. Um, but also we have animals here. Oh, just remember that chicken there. So we have uh, pigs as well, as you can see. We have our heifer barn here to the left. And then back here, we have a, another pig pen. And this is for our boars. And if you've uh, kind of seen my Alma build, you'll notice that um, I, uh, I'm using that same uh, build again. I really, I did like that big pen. We have our barn here. We have some planters, combines, <clears throat> forest harvester, combine back out there. And then coming up here, we have all of our tanks in the back. Seed tanks, fertilizer, buying station, even though, yes, I know I'm right across from the store. And then there's our field. There's that tree line that I talked about. This tree here to the right, I actually put that one in. But these other ones, that's where I kind of base the, the field on. 
just to kind of give you an idea of that. Another pole barn here, storage. We'll kind of go through the equipment here in a sec. And then kind of driving around. Here's the, the other side of that uh, cow barn. We have just a drive through shed. There's some road access back here to get off. Um, the farm. Then we have uh, for calves right here. We have a couple silos. And I'll kind of just loop back around here. And then we have more road access to get out of the farm. And this loops back around to the front. So pretty simple, not overly complicated. I didn't want to make it too complicated. Um, but the layout, yep, it took me a little while to to try to fit all these pieces together, you know. Um, the main part here was the white barn. That was the first thing I put down and then I kind of figured everything else out from that. So, my next thing, let me get into the build mode just to kind of show you, give you a little aerial view a little better. So, here's our, like our creek and we own the other side too. So, even if you did something on this part of the field, you really have this whole thing over here you could expand into. So, I, I really think there's a lot of possibilities if you made a farm right here like I did. So I kind of offset the drive, um, here's the drive from the shop, and I offset it a little bit just based on the farm buildings. So I was planning on going straight into the farm, but I mean it's fine, you just got to watch out for traffic a little bit. So then we have our house, we have our main milking barn here, we have our second uh, big cattle barn right here, we have our heifers in there, then in the middle we have our calves. And then we have our regular pole barn garage. We have chickens right here. So that's where their feeder is. They're just on a free range one. So I figured for this map, there's enough barns and places for them to go. And um, not worried about that. And then we have our pig area here. We have oh, a little pig here. And then here's our uh, boar right there Or two of them. Sorry should be two. Yep. There's the other one and then here's our other barn And then you can kind of make your way back through here as well kind of a drive and I put dirt here instead of the pavement Just to kind of change it. So you probably wouldn't pave all of this and then we're back to dirt here. We have all of our um, storage bins places we would put things and I kind of like how that is all clumped and centered together. I really like how that turned out. And then another barn back here. This uh, second part is like the shop area. And then this is like our storage in the front. And then we'll kind of loop back the drive that you saw and get out right here. And then put our bales and everything up here. Or you could do something where you leave your wagons through this little drive through shed. I thought that was a little bit different, but I thought, well, let's put it in and um, utilize it for this map. And then you can drive through the center as well here, through our silos, um, and then come back around. So I really like the, the layout. I like how it's condensed. And the subscriber that suggested this, uh, thank you again, Dustin, um, suggested it because Stone Valley has baby animals. So I really liked um, the idea of that, and I've played on Stone Valley before, like I said, but I thought, oh, this is going to be neat. Um, let's play on here, and then we can do calves, and we can do other things. So that was another reason to uh, come to this map and, and build something on here. Um, my next thing, I know we're just on a tour, but um, let me go through the buildings. I always get asked, which is fine, and feel free to if I miss something. I always get asked, oh, what's that, or what's this, and um, let me kind of just go through the buildings. I'll just click out on like this, and then you can see what they are. Um, most of the stuff you probably have seen, but just in case, um, you never know. So here's the cow barn. This is by Pleasant View Farms, one that I use all the time in a lot of my builds. 
Um, just a regular water tank here. I did not put in a water feature for this this build and that's one of the things I usually do. Usually I like to put in a pond or something but I didn't um, and I I think it's fine. I mean, most places don't have a sprawling pond on their property, but I didn't for this one. So this is just the basic garage here, and you can see I changed the color to match. In here, just a bunch of little decorations. Um, I like how those chickens, because they're free range, they just kind of roam around too. I like that. I don't know if it'll click on that pen. Yep. So it's just the basic chicken pasture that I put there. And then hide the ends, the the four corners where it would show their their area. And then right here, this is the main barn, the cow shed with manure pit. And this is from the White Farm um, map, and that's one of the mods from it. Um, great barn. Like I said, that was the one I placed first. So if you kind of look at the square, you can see the orientation of it. I thought, yep, I want to drive off of that road to get access in here to put bales. Um, and I liked how the orientation of the cattle were open right here. That way it kind of gave you a line of sight off of the road. You can kind of see them from this distance. So I really like how that turned out, but took some <laughs> took some time trying to place that. And then right here is the pig barn, also from the white uh, farm pack. And you can see I have some pigs in there. I thought I had more piglets, but... Oh, yep, they're in the they're in the barn. You can see them there. So really cool that you can have baby animals on there. And this is obviously the reason why I was like, yeah, let's let's do a build on here. Absolutely. And then you can come back here, and then here is our American barn, and it's the one with just the first uh, single door, as you can tell there. And um, I changed the color as well, and then we have. Our pigsty right here, as it's called. Very cool mod. I like how you have to use the auger to get feed in there. Really neat. And then just go through all of these right here. Diesel tank. And this is the extension silo. Here's the main silo. And I'm pretty sure that's a multi-fruit one. So you can put anything in there. I used that one on my, my Alma Farms. I really like it. And then a fertilizer tank. And then another seed tank. And I kind of went with this theme of, you know, you can see these like rusted tanks. These looks like they've been out here for a while. And that's what I kind of wanted, just a, a different feel. And I think it kind of blends well with this barn. It goes well. So, and then you can kind of drive through here. I put in the multi-fruit buying station. Yes, even though I am right by the store. And then I'm pretty sure, yep, this is a lime tank right there, just so you could see it. So, and then this uh, silo, this is one that's attached to the, the white barn here. And then we have our water tank right there. And then another barn. And this is from that same American barn uh, pack. And then I just did the paint on it the same and then we'll keep going here's our drive through shed there's a bunch of these but I just put on one of them I had a couple in here but in the end I was like oh, just the one is fine so you could use it for whatever you wish but just to drive through just something a little different and then fermenting silo multi-fruit silo the concrete and then these lizard um calf huts these are awesome i like these ones a lot so i did a left one and then the right version of it so really cool um you might have been noticing some of these textures on the ground um as i kind of going around i put in these ground textures so this is asphalt uh, cracks here and it just gives it a really nice texture as you can see um on that pavement and then it's like you drive around, like I know driving creates tracks as we drove around, but then I added these extra little tracks and ground stains to the pavement. I really like how that turned out. Like here's a ground stain, by the way. Yep, curve, and then there's some of the, the cracks in the, the pavement again. 
really cool I like that so that's something new I was just kind of playing around with but like that ground stain there like I'm fine with that and then I don't have to use like the painting tool um, so something a little different and um, let me know what you think about that I thought that was just a nice touch I you know, I added them all right here but I really do think you know it looks looks really cool and I mean very realistic after a while you'd have to redo that pavement and when you're bringing heavy um, machinery in and out like definitely would happen for sure so um, equipment wise um, I've already kind of set up this farm as you see I'm kind of playing on a little bit um, haven't done any field work but have been doing the, the animals so I'm obviously on our side by side here I have that Silverado 3500 back there and let's kind of just drive up kind of look at all the stuff so I have this tractor here. This would be our main like workhorse kind of scoop bale tractor to get stuff in. So it's the 6R tractor. I like that size for this farm. It's a little bit bigger than the the 5R series. And let's go over here. Yep, I have another our mowing uh, tractor in here. The another 6 6R. And then I'm using those same um, lizard type uh, sickle bar mowers that I've been using on the Alma series. So I really like those. Um, oops, might not all be a fan of those, but and that's fine. But um, I like the sound of them too. Let's go back here and let's loop back this way. So we have a hay wagon just right there. And then we have our first combine we got the x9 here and then i also hope oh, there's a duck back there you can see it in there in the distance i also have another x9 in the, in the barn here as well so i really like these and i was like well then let's just get two of them even though the um the fields are not that big on on stone valley but that's okay so then we have a forage harvester that's for and attacked by a chicken that's for our uh, uh, corn and then I have a regular corn header right here as you can see um, and then we have our cedars right here I'm pretty sure that's a uh, yeah that's for f fertilizer and then I kind of just walk around the side here I have my slurry tank right here another spreader right there we have our um, headers and I did not buy trailers. I need to buy some header trailers. That's right, I just drove these over here and came through the field and dropped them off. And then we have a plow right here. And then I really like these wagons. Um, and I got two sets of them here for our grain. And then we have the 8410 John Deere to pull those. And I'm probably thinking this would be our main uh, planting tractor as well, the 8410. We probably just keep with that. Let's hop back in the gator here, or side by side. And then driving up here for equipment. I'm using right here. This is the what is it? The 4320. And I put the extra diesel power on it and then put the little roof over it. But using that for the auger wagon. I have that little John Deere, I think it's the A, yep. Model A, kind of sitting there. Mostly, honestly, mostly for show. But I was using it to kind of get some of the, the equipment over here, so. It wasn't just sitting there, but now it looks nice just sitting there. And then we have our Parker gravity wagon right there. And uh, International right there, pulling that around. And then we'll kind of come over here. Another 6, yep, 6ER, or 6R, 6250. And then a little auger wagon right there, John Deere. We got our Mack truck, and I put the milk tank on it. That way, um, 
I'm not uh, using the truck for other things, but that'll be our main um, transportation. Here's our planter. And then, yes, I did buy a semi, another Mack truck on here. And it's got the tandem uh, trailers on it. So, um, depending on the size, and I know some of the fields are bigger, some are smaller on Stone Valley. Depending on the size, I would use some of the, the wagons or I would get the semi out here, out there, and I would use that semi. So that was my, that was my kind of thoughts on that. And I think that's about it. Now up here is just our water trailer right there. I know you could use it for other things, but we would use it for water. And kind of driving through here. I think they have feed, have some water. I get them some straw though. So yeah, you can see the ground stains there, kind of going through straight. I really like that. And really, it's, I know the game would create ground stains if I was like driving back and forth a lot. But I just like how they would stay, you know. Not just disappear after a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to drive back up to the front here. And that's our, our build here on, um, on Stone Valley. 22. So we'll get out of our side by side. And once again, I'll kind of just give you a little flyover again. I really like how this map turned out. Thank you again um, for kind of tuning in, kind of watching, and checking out the layout, the design of, of everything. I'm really happy with it. And I'm liking all the little things I added, textures, um, details, as you can see during the fly over here. Alright, so that will do it. Um, thank you once again for uh, joining me, and if you haven't joined the channel yet, Farming with Nick, Feel free to. I'd love to have you kind of tag along and uh, see some other builds, um, see some of the Let's Plays that I do, and um, can't wait for Farming Simulator 25 to come out and kind of see what you can do in there and uh, what kind of builds uh, I can make. And uh, if you have other suggestions of maps that you would like me to uh, put a farm on, um, let me know in the comments and uh, you know if I don't have time to actually build it like I didn't this one um, like I'll still do it if I can get to it and I'll just show you the the finished result which you know also has its own merits and I think you know people like just seeing this as well even though I'm not like you know physically building and putting out buildings but um, yeah, if you have a suggestion, let me know. Um, thank you so much uh, to that subscriber, uh, Dustin Johnson, for the idea for Stone Valley. Um, I really like how it turned out. Great idea. And um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Hey,